Hi, this is Alicia Sterling. I am here with the lovely Tess, who is playing Clara in this year's Monterey Peninsula Ballet Theater Nutcracker. That will be at Sunset Center on December 3rd through the 5th. Tess, welcome. And I am so excited for you to get to play Clara. I mean, how do you feel about that? I'm very excited. I was nervous at first, but once we started, moving and getting the choreography. It was very fun. I'm just excited to be on stage with all my friends. That's wonderful. And how long have you been doing ballet? Um, I actually hated ballet when I first started dancing. <laughs> Says every dancer <laughs> in the world. I just thought it was like very slow and it was just like not what I wanted. So I started like dancing with like contemporary and jazz when I was like six. Mm -hmm. And then like the year after I was like, okay, maybe I'll start doing it again. And then I kind of stopped again. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So then I kept doing it from like seven to 10. And then I started competition dancing at 10. So it was kind of required, okay. but now I love it. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, once you start really getting into it, I think everyone has those moments where we all don't like what we're doing until we're, we start doing it and then we feel like, oh, yeah, okay, I want to do this all the time. But um, hard on the feet as well, correct? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, so what, um, has playing Clara been a dream role of yours? It has, but I didn't ever think it was going to be like <laughs> now. <Yeah. laughs> I was like, maybe the future, mm -hmm. but yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. I know Clara is a... You get to, I mean, basically, you are throughout the entire show, and you're in every section of it. And it's so amazing that you get to see all your your friends playing, you know, uh, different characters and just being able to, there are times where you kind of get to sit through it a little bit and rest, a, yeah. well, I say rest, although you have to be in character. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of acting in that. Do you enjoy acting? I mean, I was kind of an actor. Oh, with my parents. Okay. <laughs> like, um, me and my sister Meg, we would stay up and talk very late, and they would, uh, like, open our door and we just, like, pretend to sleep. That, that was my acting career. <laughs> hey, that works. Put it on the resume. That works. <laughs> so, um, what about future goals when it comes to the Nutcracker? Um, do you have any parts that just really call out to you something oh, yeah you... I really want to be the snow queen one year oh yes that's just like she's like gliding in the air oh, she's wow. like so pretty and she's so at times stoic yet at times so sweet it's yeah, yeah. An, an incredible character um, how about classical ballet do you do you see yourself performing other classical pieces outside of the Nutcracker um I mean maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah it's always fun to you know I, I didn't know a lot about ballet until my own daughter, you know, was in it, and all of a sudden I started finding these really amazing pieces that I always thought, oh my god, I want to see my daughter do that, you know, but um, yeah, I didn't know if there were any specific characters that called out to you, and certain, but it, in time you'll see that there's lots of, like, one of my favorites is Giselle, or, you know, that she's got such an amazing uh, thing about her, but anyway. Um, so tell me about the, the experience with the Nutcracker. What is the, the thing you're most looking forward to? Mm, um, like the scenes? Um, just the scenes or backstage or what? what is oh, your favorite back, part of something like this? Probably backstage. backstage yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like with all my friends and like watching the people on the side. I mean, I probably won't be doing that, but um, <laughs> just watching and being backstage with all my friends and yeah. seeing like all of them very happy. Yeah, it's and the costumes so yeah, and everyone all the gets costumes. to yeah. I remember being friends. backstage is a, a really fun yeah. a fun time and I think it's a, such a bonding experience for you and the girls and some yeah. of the boys too, you know, where you guys kind of you're all in hair and makeup and you just sit there and wait for your part and it's that's one of the funnest times I think you can have. Okay. Question that everyone wants to know. What would Clara order at a donut shop like this? I don't know. Because my understanding is they have, I mean, the most amazing donuts, but not like your average everyday donuts. So if you could think of one thing Clara would want to order. Now, you don't have to order the same thing, but if you could yeah. think of something she'd want to order, what would it be? I feel like maybe like something with nuts. Yeah. Like the nutcracker. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Or okay, like, put that nutcracker to use. Yeah. Got it. Or like um, 
chocolate, but you know, she can't leave it out. The rats are gonna get it. <laughs> and Fritz will try to steal it. Yeah. Too. That's true. <laughs> Fritz will steal it. Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on up there and um, we're gonna place our order. What Tess would want, not yeah. Clara. And um, then we'll come back here and we'll finish a little bit more. Okay. We are in line at Dutch Door Donuts in Carmel, the newest, best spot to get donuts. And your name? I'm Tessa. I'm Tessa. The general manager. Tessa, the general manager, is going to kind of explain a little bit about the process here at the donut shop. Okay, so what you're looking at is a hot, fresh, ready to order donut. We have six flavors. Our classic flavors are vanilla bean glaze, cinnamon sugar, and ground chocolate. Um, we also have rotating flavors, and those ones, uh, they kind of last as long as the product does, and then we move on to something new. So we have almond cinnamon sesame. That's our newest addition this week. It's, good. it's really delightful. Yeah. Um, raspberry pomegranate, and then maple bacon. Can't pass up the maple bacon. It's quietly loved. <laughs> I am going to, I'm going to have the maple bacon. That's just, that's a necessity. Okay. Yeah. the vanilla bean flavor. Okay. Vanilla bean. And what do you think Clara would have wanted? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll do those. All right, we are back here, and we're going to talk a little bit about what we've been through and what they've been through as dancers dancing through the pandemic. Um, hopefully, we're on the up and up, and things are subsiding. But these dancers have been dancing with masks on um, for hours on end, really. And so, do you feel? Uh, what do you feel the differences are for you as a dancer? When you're dancing with the mask and not with the mask, I mean, do you feel that it kind of, um, I want to say, holds you back when you have a mask on? Mm -hmm. or? I don't feel like it does just because we're dancers and we want to, like, dance. Yeah. So I don't think it's really holding us back. It just sometimes gets hard because all of our masks is, like, sweaty yeah but I mean yeah. we're used to it now oh good yeah. okay okay because I mean I know it's it's, it's it's the responsible thing to do it's the right thing to do yeah um, but I can I can only imagine um, trying to do that to be honest with yeah. you it just it, it amazes me every day what you guys go through um, in general and then add a mask to that it's just so much more um, so what happens next after the Nutcracker what are you looking forward to after that Competitions. Competitions? Yeah. yeah. Just, again, being with my friends yeah. and going up to the competitions and like doing our warm ups together and like being backstage, watching the dance before us and hopefully not get intimidated. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, yeah. But yeah, I'm so excited for that. Oh, good. Good. Okay, so I know you've been to your first costume fitting already. Yes. And the Clara dress, tell me about it. Is it something that, I mean, what do you think? Is it? When I get in it, I feel like I'm Clara. Like, yes. wow, this is it. Like, it's so great. I love it. My favorite one is I, the blue dress. It's just like, yes. I've been watching the Nutcracker for like after day. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like seeing it on stage. It's just like sparkles. It's so pretty. And it just flows. When you turn, it just yeah. turns with you. And it just has such a dreamy thing about it, which is, because it's the night nightgown, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's just it does it puts you in that dream state, which is really nice. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, and are you doing um, on point or yes? On, oh, I love on that. Point. That's but wonderful. Right now we're practicing it on flat. Yeah. So if you don't die. <laughs> yeah. Very and, and going through point shoes. Yeah. As I recall, it. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing like two weeks in them, mm -hmm. and then they're already dead. Oh. But I'm in the yeah. process of sewing right now. What are your other favorite parts in the Nutcracker that you... Um, I love fight scene. You do? Yes. Yeah. Just like because we're pulling back and forth and then yeah. you're like moving around with the music. I don't want to interrupt. I would <laughs> love for you to interrupt, to please. Oh my gosh, and you put the Clara Donut in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank All you right. so much. Enjoy my oh, yeah. amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody, I'm just gonna kind of do a little, if I can. Oh my gosh, I hope my phone doesn't fall. Look, <laughs> look at that. You know what? I'm gonna do it even better. Let's just bring it up. Yes. Yeah. This is the maple bar with the bacon on it, which is really important, and it has, you know, some breakfast food in there. And then um, the chocolate donut that 
Clara would order, and the, of course, vanilla. Yes. yes? All right, are we ready? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Oh. It's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> It's the best donut I've ever had in my life. It's so good. It's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On that note, congratulations to you. Thank you. For such an amazing part. You're going to do such a beautiful job. Very excited to see it. And thank you, Dutch Store Donuts, for letting us come in and and uh, sit here and enjoy the talk with each other and then also enjoy these amazing donuts. If you have not come out here, please do. It is incredible. Carmel Plaza, Dextro Donuts, off the charts. Yes. All right? Anything else you want to say to the crowd? Mm -hmm. No, I think that's it. Thank you for enjoy, coming. Enjoy, yeah, enjoy the show December 3rd through 5th and it'll be just magical. All right. Thank you. Bye.